I wanted to show you how to um, service a HUMA regulator. Um, this particular one is out of an AROMS S400, S410, S510, Ultimate Sport, uh, HFT500, it fits all of them. Um, this one <coughs> has been in a rifle for a few years, so it's time for a service. Um, that's the regulator. You'll need a pair of circlip pliers to remove the circlip at the back. Okay. Um, there are a couple of ways of removing the piston. <clears throat> you can either um, bang it to get it out, or um, you can use um, a threaded um, an M3 thread on a screw or something similar, and that just pulls it out. Um, right. That's the seal. There we go. Um, right. On the um, piston, there are a number of bellville washers or disc springs, as they're also known. Um, pay attention to how they're stacked. Um, this particular one has two cup that way, two cup that way, two cup that way. Um, but depending on the power of your rifle, um, and the pressure the regulator is set at, they may be stacked slightly differently. Um, so we're going to need to um, remove the old O-rings. Use something that's not going to damage the um, O-ring groove, um, because obviously if you scratch the um, surface, um, your O-rings won't seal properly and you'll get leaks. Um, this particular o-ring's gone a bit brittle. Um, like I said, it's quite old. I'm just trying to. There we go. That's the old o-ring. Then we'll get the one off the back. There we go. Um, this is a good time as well, just to. Um, Clean the um, o-ring grooves, make sure there's no bits of dirt or old o-ring trapped in them. You can use um, something like Abbey SM50 or silicon grease um, just to lubricate the um, o-ring grooves. Right, I do sell um, o-ring kits on my in my e-shop. So if you do need O-rings, I do stock them. Um, pop that one on. Pop the new one on the back. There we go, that's the piston done. Um, right, and the body of this one has two O-rings. So we'll pop those off. The old ones. Again, give it a good clean. Right, and drop of lube in the o-ring grooves again. And new o-rings on. Um, right, you'll notice I didn't um, remove the adjuster from the front because that's where the um, pressure set. Um, and the reason for that is if you don't have a pressure tester or you don't have um, a regulator with a, a label on it that tells you um, the pressure that it's been set to, um, then adjusting the screw can cause you all sorts of problems. So I would normally say if you're going to service it, just do this bit, remove that, um, change the O-rings, put it back, don't adjust this, and then you should be roughly around the same uh, regulator pressure that you were previously. Um, if you do want to um, remove that when you service it, um, I would highly recommend that you use a vernier or something suitable and measure how far it sticks out of the um, body. In this case it's 3.28 millimeters. 
um, so that when it goes back you put it back to 3.28 millimeters um, and the other thing you can do is um, you could use a, a sharpie or a, a scribe or something and mark um, where where the, something lines up but or put two marks that you know you, you know you're in the right place when you put it back together um, so that just unscrews Um, there's an O-ring on there, and I'm going to replace that one as well. It's another brittle O-ring, which is why it's being difficult to uh, remove. Get clean. Again, give that a drop of blue, and you can put a tiny drop on the threads if you like. Right, I'm going to pop this back in. I'm going to put a drop on there just to get it going. Pops in. You can then put your uh, circlip back in. When you put the circlip in, just make sure that it's properly located in the O ring groove. Um, you don't want it coming out in use. And then you can drop the disc back in. And then that goes back in. where the measurement that you've taken previously comes in handy. 3.35, so very close. Okay, 3.28. Um, so that should be back in the ballpark of where it was before I stripped it. Um, and um, just on that note, um, Huma have actually started selling a, a regulator tester. Um, obviously, it's a bit extreme for somebody who services a rig once every two years to um, to buy a regulator tester, but for tuners and enthusiasts who have multiple rifles and have um, you know who are always messing around with their rifles and regulators and whatever you can um, use one of these that screws in there um, and then you um, obviously screw that all the way up your airline connects up to it and you um, simulate the shots by opening and closing that little bleed valve um, those, those are available on my website and the Huma Air website. So there we go. That's um, a Huma regulator serviced. Um, it'll be a similar process for most of the internal regulators. Um, 
and I do have other specific videos for some of the other regulators like the R10 and the EV2 which are slightly different. Um, uh, there we go.